Hello, uh, just a quick video here to uh, comment about the Dead Island Riptide trailer, which I just, it was a surprise, I just uh, went on to uh, YouTube and I came across this trailer. Uh, it's a CG trailer like before, dramatic, slow piano music, all that stuff. Um, uh, possibly even more ambiguous. Before, um, uh, I I liked Dead Island. I liked the setting. I liked uh, I liked the RPG elements. I liked the individual, the uh, you know, large groups of zombies posed a serious threat. I liked that very much. Um, things that disappointed me about the game were like you know sort of technical issues. And uh, the uh, the story in particular really disappointed me. I, you know, I I had I'd heard that it wasn't the emotional experience we came to expect from that trailer, but um, uh, you, you know, but still, the the story was really not not very good at all even forgetting that we were expecting something far more emotional. Uh, but I'm really not here to talk about Dead Island here, I'm totally here to talk about the impressions given to me by that trailer. They don't really count for much, I'm just I'm just trying to guess about what they're going for here. Um, this might be a good time if, uh, you know, if, if you're, uh, you know, to go to my, dis go to the description and uh, watch the Watch the linked, uh, you know, CGI trailer in question, and uh, and uh, also this might might be a little spoilerish. I don't know. It's it's not going to be anything that you don't expect. And like I said, the story really isn't anything to write home about. It, you know, if if you're if if you're playing Dead Island for the story, stop, stop. You know. Find there's play Walking Dead the game if you want a zombie game with a really good story. Don't play Dead Island. Hell, Left 4 Dead has a better story, and I really mean that. You know, that's not like Left 4 Dead has a terrible story, but at least it's better than Dead Island. It, it's really good. But um, you know, in the way of about tell games. But um, I'm running out of time here. I need to make this a quick response. And also, you'll notice the light bulb can hang heavily night shine on me. To being a shadowy fucking figure of darkness. Uh, I need to figure out a better way to film these. But, um. Uh, yeah. What was. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Go check that trailer and pretty much stop watching if you're really that concerned about minor spoilers. Done? Okay, here we go. Now, spoilers for the first Dead Island, final warning. Okay, as you might expect from a fairly typical zombie story, they kind of get away from the island. You know, they get on a helicopter, get away. They, you know, there was, they, there was a few plot twists and character turns, but it wasn't spectacular. Not really much you wouldn't expect. Um, the the source of the outbreak wasn't really explained, and if it was, then it wasn't really explained well. Um, and uh, we're to also assume that the survivors are immune. This could mean that they themselves carry the virus, like in Left 4 Dead, but I don't know. Now. Uh, I I would assume that somehow the virus got off the island. You know, as as far as I, uh, you know, um, the the trailer that you've watched now, if you're a smart person, um, shows uh, this couple on a on a boat driving along in the ocean, and then you you know you see them on sort of inside the boat. Uh, in the cabin, 
uh, you know, sort of having an intimate moment, and then you see, you, know, you can see sort of like zombies banging on the glass outside. So you already know they're on land, and they're zombies, and uh, and one of them has a lighter, and of course it pans away to see a couple of propane tanks there, and one of the zombies breaks through a bit, have this sort of intimate slow motion moment with the wife saying. Yeah, it's it's a silent trailer, it's one of those. But it has the sad piano music. At least it is in the right order this time. Yeah, husband clicks on the lighter. And uh, you zoom out to see like this sort of city street. Looks a bit more developed than Banoi, so I'm suspecting it's not on Banoi. Um, I mean, of course, I, I would think that it's somewhere different. I, I should think that it's somewhere different, because... I, I can't see them doing the same setting again. It's pointless. But, um. Uh. Uh, it's still rather tropical. And then, and then of course, big explosion. Zooms out, say, you know, Dead Island, Riptide, the new logo comes up. Uh, the, the there isn't a hanging person there, there's a zombie. Uh. Bikini zombie. Oh, wait, if that matters to you at all. Maybe, maybe 34 people. Um, and, uh, yeah. What I'm gonna. You know, another thing. The boat was on. What, you know, it wasn't just beached, it was on a fucking street. So I'm guessing some sort of incident happened to be. I don't know, it may be that it, even it's on a very deteriorated. Uh, sort of closed off version of Bonoi and somehow they end up fucking stranded there by the hurri by a hurricane or something. I don't know. But um I'm gonna go ahead and guess a few things now. I I guess I'm gonna guess for one thing, they're gonna wanna increase they're gonna wanna uh, make it more polished this time. That's technical issues. Uh, technical issues were a big thing that dragged it down. Um uh, they're gonna wanna make I think they should make the story better. I don't know whether they will, because story is an incredibly hard thing for people to get right, especially concerning zombie stories, especially considering zombie games, because you've got two main audiences here. You've got people who just want to kill zombies and everything, and then you've got serious horror buffs, and you're trying to impress them both. Um, but, uh... Um, oh, what was I going to say? But yeah. Uh, I really think, I really hope that it's going to be a different setting. It looks, like I said, it, it looks more, uh, it looks more developed than Banoi. Um, sort of a more conventional city street. It doesn't look like anywhere I recognize from the game. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and guess that the the the, uh, the virus re reached somewhere on the coast of Australia, so we're still in sort of tropical, like that setting, and hopefully they'll keep it a bit more like that. Because apart from the, you, you know, you you kind of end up in some places where we, we've we've been here before in a zombie outbreak. We've been in cities. We've been in. Uh, We've been in scientific facilities and all that. The prison and the tropical rainforest, and of course, the, the the most striking location, the best location, and the one you start in, the actual resort. Um, they're pretty unique, but you know, I, I I hope they kind of keep it a bit more on that sort of tropical paradise kind of thing, and that juxtaposition between somewhere that's supposed to be so nice but now it's so horrible. Um, uh, so maybe it'll be a bit more like that. I don't know. Um, and again, maybe you want a bit more of what I do than that. I don't know. You know give your own opinions. But, uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll be keeping an eye on this one. Uh, Hopefully it'll give us all that we want, or what we wanted from the first game, a bit more. Uh, 
but I'm really glad to see it getting a second chance. It's really nice when you see a game that had a really promising premise, it had some really good things in it, but it just got a few things wrong that really got in the way. It's really nice to see a game like that get a second chance to, to be that game that all us fans saw through the little through all the problems you know um, but yeah uh, post your opinion if you want like share comment subscribe all that typical YouTube stuff uh, do I still get to call this a quick by the last point 10 minutes damn it